I first arrived in Whistler with my buddy in a van in February 1973. Whistler's kind of Canada's ski center, so it's a good place to make a living that way. I've made my living for most of my working life taking pictures of skiers in the wintertime. We're very, very fortunate we've got two mountains. We've got, you know, two of the biggest mountains in North America. We have intense stormy periods where people don't even see the mountain they're on. And yet other times people come and they get a week of blue skies and beautiful sunsets. And I think that that is one of the beauties of the place is that there is a lot of variety. It isn't always the same. Just like today, getting up and seeing a beautiful morning scene, you know, sunrise and the way it hit the different mountains and the clouds in the background, every time it's different. But the experiences you can have on the mountain and the people you share them with and the, the diversity of groomed runs or backcountry skiing, powder snow, storms. It's always an evolution, it's always changing. I think that you have a connection with the mountain, a connection with your friends, and it's all very positive, which I think is a real bonus for, for those of us who choose to be in the mountain. I do it because I love it. At uh, my age now that only ever had to do what I wanted to do, and when I've done it where I've wanted to do it and with the people that I, I choose to do it with, so. You can't really hope for really too much more than that.